Hi, everybody. David Wesley here, and welcome to episode 10 of our Virtual Choir training series. This is the last of three videos all about vocal warm-ups. So if you haven't seen the first two, which are episode eight and nine, then I strongly recommend that you go back and watch those ones first. In today's episode, Serena will be introducing some principles and techniques all about trying to reduce strain in the higher end of your voice. Who hasn't wanted to hit that really high note more reliably and without fearing that'll be the last time you ever hit it? So take it away, Serena. Hi everyone. So today we are going to be learning a new warm up. Now, I know at this point we're all aware that we are supposed to be warming our voices up. I've been drilling it into you in the last few videos. And I think most of us were aware before then you're supposed to warm up before you sing, just like a runner runs up, warms up and stretches before they run. But we just don't know how. And even if we are motivated enough to Google it, all of a sudden, hundreds of warm-ups come up in the form of videos and thousands and thousands of articles show up and you begin to feel overwhelmed and wonder, where do I start? And the thing about warm-ups is, is that they're targeted directly to a specific problem or area of your voice. So if you want to increase your range, there's warm-ups for that. If you want to switch between the different voices, there's warm-ups for that. If you want to get rid of tension, there's warm-ups for that. The warm-up we're doing today is a warm-up that is specific to strain on the high end of your range. I have almost never seen, I've seen three times in 20 years, people walk through the door with tension on every note they sing where there's pain. And those were, those were different and serious cases. For the majority of us, most of the tension is on the high end. It's on our higher end when we're singing. And we've all done it. We've all gone to sing a high note and it's either yelled or we have had this narrow constricted um, sound or we run out of air and we can't hold it for very long. Or my personal favorite is the crack. You go and you sing and you belt out that high note and your voice just cracks. And I find that it almost never happens at home. It always happens in front of a microphone. Why is that? So we don't want that to happen. We want to be able to, to hit those high notes and have them open and beautiful. And so we're going to use this exercise and it's a nay. We're saying nay together, N-A-Y. And what we're doing is we're going nay, 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 nay. do is have that beautiful open sound when we're doing it and we're going to achieve this with two little tricks um, and for the most of us these tricks will work some of you like I said in earlier videos may need actual vocal lessons to target problems in your throat and in your voice but this is a really great way to begin to work on it on your own at home and over time you will see change the first trick is to stop going like this so Everyone does this. I don't know why. We all instinctively, when we go for those high notes, we just want to put our chin out. And immediately what that does is forget the tension inside you, like that you normally have with singing. You create all this tension just in the physical act of putting your head forward. And so many of us do this. What we want to do is we just want to make sure our heads are in alignment, that we're straight, that our chin is, you don't want to tucked in too much, but just relaxed and ready. Um, and actually, this is a good point where before you do this video, if you have not seen my video um, that I did where I talked about opening up the voice and getting rid of the tension in the voice and the shoulders, it would be worth it to pause this one, go back to that one, run through those few like two to three minute warm up that just opens and relaxes everything and then come back to this one. Um, it is totally worth doing. It is the warm up to the warm up. Like I've said over and over, when we warm up our voices, we want to do it slowly. We don't want to be in a rush. We want to take the time to warm our voices up properly. So go ahead and do that if you have not already. And when you're ready, we're going to come back and we're going to do this nay, 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 nay exercise and we're going to think about it entirely differently probably than we ever have before. So most people when we sing subconsciously just think about the fact that the air is coming back up out of our lungs and it's coming out of our mouth 
and the sound's kind of coming up and out, which is what's happening. But what we want to think about is the sound as being this idea that's out here and coming towards us and then tucking in like a hook. Sounds ridiculous, but this will transform your ability to hit those high notes as you practice it over and over. And I'm going to layer more techniques on at a different time. But for right now, what we want to do is we want to just bring that sound towards us and hook it back up in. Okay. And so we're going to do that with this exercise. Nay, 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 nay. might be thinking I'm insane right now and wondering how to do this. And if you're having a hard time, I always tell my students, take your hand, put it out here in front of your face. Imagine your hand is the note, bring it towards you, watch it come in, think about it as going up. That's all I want you guys to do with this exercise this week. Now, the other exercise that I'm going to give you is an mm. We're going to do a hum together. And the reason we're going to do a hum is because we are going to pay attention to where we're feeling vibration in our face as we do this hum. This is going to become very important later on in your singing. But for right now, again, just an awareness. We're just building an awareness of that feeling. Okay, so we're going to hum. Mm -hmm. Um, guys will be an octave lower than me or if this is too low jump in when you can and if it goes too high stop we don't want to add strain by trying to stretch our range right now that's not the purpose of this video so we're gonna go in the lower notes you're gonna feel all kinds of vibrating in your lips as we go higher you're gonna feel this pressure feeling in your face, up and behind your nose, up into your upper cheekbones. And I just want you to be aware of it. The first couple times you may not feel it, other times you may. Um, and as you do it more and more, you're going to feel this slight pressure and I just want you to focus on where it is. That is it. do that once a day. Warm-ups need to happen every single day because they are targeting problems in your voice and you're going to slowly start to see and be aware of changes in your voice as you do these. So breathing exercises, you do three to five times a week. Vocal warm-ups, you want to try for seven days a week. Um, it's really important if you want to see changes in your voice and you're serious about working on your voice and expanding your voice to becoming everything that it can possibly be, you're going to do this every single day. And so I encourage you to do these warm-ups at home. You're going to see all kinds of changes in your voice as you do this. You're going to feel less strain and you should really be feeling that feeling of pressure. It's like a buzz pressure feeling that happens as you move higher. Um, and that is what I want you guys focusing on for now. And then keep doing the opening up your voice exercises. Keep practicing your breathing. And as we do this, we're going to start to notice changes in our voice. Thanks again, Serena, for another great video and for all the warm-up techniques that you've taught us. I know this last video was really important for me. When I do my solo a cappella work, I have to work at the extremes of my range because I'm doing all of the parts. So when I have to belt it out or use that high falsetto, I can definitely feel that strain. It's good to know that I have some go-to techniques now that I can help to prepare my voice to hit those notes cleanly, consistently, and without hurting myself. If you're interested in a vocal assessment by Serena or some one-on-one -on -one lessons, you can contact us at coach at davidwesley.ca. 
And again, thanks so much to my patrons on Patreon. Without your support, this video would not be possible. This series would not be possible. If you're interested in supporting the creation of these videos, which are free for everyone, you can go to patreon.com slash davidwesley.